Hello and welcome to Space Shark Teaches. I'm Sean from Space Shark Studios and I'm here to teach you visual scripting in Godot 3.1. Let's get started. In this lesson, we're gonna teach you about variables and constructors so you can control your ball speed in the inspector. So right now it's difficult to control the speed. If we wanted to use multiple balls, how would we make sure that each one had its own speed. We don't want to go and re and make a new let's close this, make a new script every time we want to do that, right? Um, for example, if I select these and then duplicate them with control D, I can move them down below and when I press play, you can see they both move at the same speed. If I decide to go into script, change this back to this one and move it this way. If I change this to say 50, so they move a lot faster, they both move faster. If I change it to five, they both move slowly. So that's not what we want. How do we change this? Well, we make a variable. So over here in members, our variable, we clicked the plus button. We are going to rename this variable speed. Now right now, speed is not the type that we need. So you see this takes a vector two. Right now it's set as any. So we want to right click, edit member, and you can see there is actually a vector two selection and we can check and put in we want 10 and 0. So now we've set the type, we've set the value and most importantly we want this export to be on. So what export does is says we have this variable that belongs to a ball we want it to show up over here in the inspector when we click on that ball. So for example, now we click on ball, we have this speed. We can drag it in here. Get speed is the function we call because it grabs the speed. We put this in here, press play. And remember we set speed to default to 10, which means if we select ball two and change this to 50, what do you think is going to happen? The one on the bottom is moving five times as fast as the one up top. That's exactly what we wanted. But what if we want speed to be in two different variables? So let's say speed x and speed y, because we won't always have access to something like a vector two. So let's change this and instead make it an int with 10 and export and make this an int with zero and export. So now we have speed X and speed Y. Oh, and remember to always make sure that this is set it is not going to be set to zero. So now we have two speeds, but we can't put speed into there. It doesn't let us. It asks us to make a new function. What we need to do is get a constructor for a vector two. So over in available nodes, you can see functions, constructors, vector two, x, y. So the x, y means that this vector two takes in an X and a Y as its arguments, the same way as set axis velocity takes in an axis velocity as its argument. So if we drag this into here, you can see that it has an X and it has a Y. And if we drag this in, now the ball is going to be using these two numbers down here. So if we set this to 20, 
and we're having an issue because this speed y is being set to null. So let's try doing this. There we go. So Godot has some finicky parts. Um, you have to make sure that your integers are set to something. If they are null, they will not work. And the constructors aren't always the best, or I guess the variable setters are not always the best at doing that. So now if we press play, we can see once again, the bottom one is running twice as fast as the top. So now we have two different ways of setting speed. We can either set them with individual integers or we can set using the built-in vector2. We're going to stick with the vector2 because it makes more sense. We can delete selected, delete selected, and then delete these two, hook that back up, and save it. Now when we play, once again, five times as fast. And that's it. You have made your first variable and you have used a constructor to create a new variable out of two different variables. Go ahead and play around. You can use the add force and the set axis velocity. You can make as many balls and platforms as you want and you can see what happens. Thank you for watching Space Shark Teaches. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe to the channel and remember to click the bell to always stay up to date. Please also join us on our Discord, linked in the comments, and check out our other videos if you ever want to see what else we've been up to. Thanks again for watching, and we can't wait to see what you make.